Some of these slaves survived and made it to the States, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They were subjected to what, what might arguably considered some of the worst working conditions that have ever been experienced by people on this planet. It's very difficult, you know, you can, I think you can find instances of like a Latin American a slave colony sometimes would have like a, I say turnover rate euphemistically here, I mean they died. It was pretty bad, it's not great. But you have a lot of slaves, like a lot, a lot, a lot of slaves. By the time the U.S. colonies roll around, some of these states have like two-fifths of their population just slaves, you know? Um, a good portion of people in the South in the antebellum period owned a slave. I think it was one third of Southern families had one slave or more, something like that. One third thereabouts, I think. It's in the ballpark, you know. Modern Confederate lost cause types will pretend that only like two or three people in the South owned slaves and they were all Jewish, but that's not true. Uh, it was it was a relatively common thing.